Hello everyone and welcome to my daily reading for Monday, um, May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Okay, so I've drawn the cards using the uh, standard right away and I'm using the uh, the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle card. Okay, so um, first card that I drew actually was the Nine of Wands followed by the Chariot and we ended it with the Nine of Cups and we're seeing here already a pattern of two nines, nines. Isn't that interesting? It's like we're reaching the end the end of something, finalizing something, something comes um, to a positive end because this is the wish card, this is the, the, the card of we're getting what we want, that our, our wishes are granted. But um, there's more to it than that, okay, other than just being the wish card there. Um, looking at this nine of wands, we're seeing quite a bit of a journey and um, before beginning anything, before you know you want to start up a business or whatever it is that you're doing, you have to lay the right foundation. You have to lay the right foundation before you can excel and see positive re results. Okay, um, and along the way you've been beat up. And this is the uh, the nine of wands. This is what I call you got beat up. You've been beat up. You're tired. Um, but this is uh, today is taking on a different connotation. This is more like um, you've been um taking actions by the sheer brute force of it like just going out there and um and just it's just using the force using that, that sheer brute force not very intelligent you see the bandage here on his head you know you've been beat up because you haven't been you know using your your noggin okay the way you should be using it or applying what you know in the manner that it should be applied and this is lessons that you've learned okay you've through all uh, this opposition you've learned you, you've learned the hard way so this figure in this card um, this is a person who by you know they learned their lessons the hard way they have to get beat up they have to um, have these not so nice experiences because that's the only way that the, it comes through their thick skull you follow what I'm saying? So it's the only way that they're learning. Um, you know, getting, having these constant experiences, sometimes these experiences, they have a pattern and they repeat themselves, you know? Um, and they keep getting into the same kind of confrontation, the same, the, the same kind of issues. And um, eventually they learn. This person learns, you know? Because they're, they have a thick skull. See over there? Thick skull. It's interesting how this nine is also facing that way. I'm not going to get into tree life Kabbalah. It's just funny how, how these two nines are here. And then we have the chariot with the, uh, you know, you have the representation of, of the pillars here. But, you know, I'll, I'll leave that to your own studying. <laughs> um, and then we move on. And, and here we have the chariot. And the chariot says, namely, you know, um, that you have to um, approach uh, matters from here on forth um, utilizing not just your sheer strength not just the brute force of things not just because you're so enthusiastic and um, and all that good stuff you have to uh, you know use your intelligence you have to be smarter about your moves by your decisions um, really what what this card is saying is you need to have um, a bit of foresight you know, like really look at the, the pieces on the table. It's kind of like a battlefield, you, you know, with this nine of wands facing away. This is telling me this person didn't really look at the battlefield. They didn't do their homework. They didn't do their studying. They just kind of dove into something without really thinking. They're just taking action and then they're getting beat up time and time again until they learn their lesson, right? So here, here we have the general. I, I, I like to call this person as the general, you know, and they're seeing the pieces on, on the field, you know, on the battlefield. And they're saying, well, you know, I can't just move over there and say, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make this move here. And then I get beat up, right? No, you have to look at your resources. You need to look at um, the bigger picture, step outside, think outside the box, analyze. You just can't jump into something and say, oh, here I am. And then you get beat up because you just you were ill prepared, period. But this person learns, okay? This knucklehead learns, and the knucklehead will eventually have a positive outcome to things because through these experiences, you know, they um 
they've learned to turn these experiences around and things will fare out very well for them and then eventually they're seated you know they see them they see themselves seated on the throne and, and granted this throne it's a, just a bench and it's humble it's made of wood um yeah it's a bench but hey that's a step up from the just standing there leaning against your staff because you can't even just support your body you know what i mean so this is a step up it's a step it's a small step but it's a step up and you know that step up is giving you a boost of confidence the oracle card that we pulled was confidence and i i this is the house of night and this is a whole series you know of books i've read like all of them i think the last three i didn't though because i just felt like the story was getting redundant or something but um and I, for the life of me i'm going to pronounce um her name this character shiga shiga okay whatever i i never been able to pronounce her 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 character name but that's besides the point. The point behind this card is that now you have the tools, you have you have confidence because you know you've you went down the road, you went you've been down this road, you've gotten beat up and you understand that oh by the sheer force of things uh, I just can't do that. I I just can't accomplish what I want to accomplish just because I want to go ahead and dive into something and I'm ill prepared. But you learn those lessons. Your the chariot is the vehicle by that will boost. It's 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 going to carry you into this new era, into this new period, um, and you've gained a level of confidence. So you not you need to keep that confidence up. Okay, keep the confidence up. You have all the tools and experience under your belt um, so always think back to those experiences before making a decision before you go ahead and dive into something so that you're not repeating the patterns and the problems um, presented here by the nine of wands plain and simple okay so let's not repeat patterns let's break patterns patterns that are uh, unintelligent all right that's the message for today have a blessed day always and I'll see you tomorrow bye bye